Welcome to the West Winds Breviary. We trust these short online services will inspire you and ennoble you, giving you hope and courage as you shadow God in the redemption of the world. Morning, everybody. There is light in you. No matter how dark it gets, shine brightly, my friends. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 5, verse 14. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket. Instead, they put it on a stand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. What do they see? Your good works. And what do your good works result in? Glory to your Father in heaven. Consider Jesus' metaphor. Now, Jesus, of course, is bound by his own place and time. He's a traveling, itinerant rabbi. He walks everywhere. When you walk through the desert in Palestine, you, you see cities from a far-off place. They're, they're beacons. When you see a city in the middle of a journey, in the middle of the wilderness, a city represents hope. I can get water there. I can get food there. I can get shelter there. You're a city on a hill. That's how Jesus describes you. When people look at you, they ought to be getting hope because you are the light of the world. Likewise, when you see a city, it gives you a, a, a navigation point. It gives you a compass bearing. It gives you guidance. You ought to be providing guidance to the people around you. And what are you guiding them to? How are you guiding them? What you're guiding them, Jesus says, through good works. And what are you guiding them to? Giving glory to God. And how do they glorify God? By knowing him, by engaging him, by being with him. That's what, that's what you're for. That's who you are. Don't miss the point of your identity as the light of the world. You provide hope, you provide guidance, and you provide a promise. The promise of what? Safety, security, shelter, friendship, repose, relaxation, hope, guidance, promise. That's you. That's what you're supposed to be doing in the midst of all this craziness. You are a city on a hill. So you got to ask yourself, like I'm asking myself, like we're all asking all the time, am I shining right now? 
or am I somehow being hidden? Am I shining digitally? Am I providing hope, guidance, and promise on the internet? Through my posts on Facebook, my engagement on Instagram, or, or am I just providing snark, or fake news, or cynicism, or frustration? Am, am I shining physically? Meaning, in the times when I'm proximate with other people, when I'm around them, do they experience hope and guidance and promise, or, or not? Am I, am I shining socially? Meaning, the ways I interact with people through text messages, through messenger, through phone calls, that do people get light from you? Because they should, because they're supposed to. So this is your gentle reminder today, friends, to shine and shine brightly, because a city on a hill should not be hidden. ground that I've been treading on lately. God, make me like a seed. Plant me in your garden and keep me away from all of the thorns, the thistles, and the weeds. Lights shine in darkness. That's you, your light. Start shining. Don't let yourself dim. Don't let yourself diminish. You are God's beacon of hope. Grace and peace, everyone. We pray that the spirit of Jesus lights you up and through you lights up the world.